Hello everybody, in this tutorial we'll be covering how to import custom icons into StarCraft 2. This, this tutorial is brought to you by StarEdit.net. First off, we're going to find an image that we're going to turn into an icon. For the purpose of this tutorial, it will just be a random image. There's a nice looking one. Now we'll go ahead and open that up. First off, we want to scale it to 76 by 76. This is the size that StarCraft's normal icons use, so we'll use it too for now. Start off now by making the background, the black background, clear. This means that in-game it will show the border and background behind it. Now we want to save as a DDS. This is the image format that StarCraft uses. And you should have a pop-up like this with, with whatever program you're using for image editing. You want to choose BC3 DXT5. And now we'll put it into StarCraft 2. We'll start opening the map and go to import, that's F9 if you don't already know. Data, import files. Now we will find a handy little bunny file. And it is in an annoying place. Okay, make sure you uncheck that box so you don't get all these random junk in your StarCraft 2. Choose this one and we'll put it in Assets Bunny for now. And there it is. Now remember at this point to save otherwise you will lose the image now we go to modules data which is F7 just so that we can test it out in game and see what it looks like Go on buttons, you can choose the data type here, you want to choose buttons from it, and we'll search for the SCV, train SCV there. Now here we have up here, we have the icon that we'll use, we'll choose instead of that one, which is not the correct one we will use in our assets folder in bunny bunny there it is and press ok and we of course save our map now we'll test it in starcraft As you can see, I'm testing StarCraft on a window. It's a lot handier when you're mucking around with things like this all the time. You can ch switch between windows very easily. Here we go. Now, if you have a look here, there it is. Uh, beautiful bunny SCV. Little train. And that's the end of this tutorial.